Hey everybody, how are you? I think uh, we're we should be going out. Let me let me just let me just make sure that we are. But I'm sure that we are. Um, we're going out over Facebook uh, today, as we do uh, each and every Monday. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, there we are. We're on. Okay, we're going. Okay, okay. All righty. There we go. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. We got a whole bunch of people ready to go on here for our little, uh, Monday, uh, fun fest. Uh, and, uh, uh, here we, let's see here, here, let me just admit them all. And there should be other people joining us as well. Um, uh, let's see here who we got so far. Okay. We've got Jeffrey Stein. We've got Mike Chisholm. We've got Edward Berger. We've got Scott Boddicker. Uh, and we've got Andrew Deutsch, we've got Steve Bender. Oh, wait a minute, hold this on a second. And of course, uh, 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 here's Rick Sheckman coming in. There we go. There he is. Hello to everybody. How are you today? Good. 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 All right. Nice to, nice, to, nice to see you and hear you. And uh, I hope you all had a pleasant weekend. Did you get the good news today? About if you had both shots? No. Hmm? What, what you it? mean we can hang out? Yes. Yes, according to the CDC, people who are of a like in, in vaccination <laughs> can hang out together. So Elitists. <laughs> yeah, so I'm coming out to see you soon, Shecky. I well, the rib joint is going to 75% occupancy inside in what? a week. What is this again? The rib joint. That we go to. Oh, really? Yeah, everywhere outside of New York City is going to seventy-five percent. Oh boy. Okay. For restaurants. Well, we can, we can do that. Listen, you and I are. How many here have had two shots? Raise your hand. Uh, Jeff and uh, Shecky, Steve, you've had one, right? Then my second next week. Next second next week. Okay, then you can come over. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, and that old card they gave you is going to become quite valuable, they say, because that's kind of your pass. Uh, you might be able to get special passports that way, saying that you're infection proof and so on and so forth. So I guess we're now the privileged people, those of us who've had two shots. Scott, well, you eventually it'd be online, I think, that information. Yeah, I would say. I would hope. Yeah, you're not going to be able to walk in with a card that I could have stolen off the nurse's desk. Well, you know, that I, myself. I don't know if they have any other. I guess they do have a record of it, don't they? Because they sent me a little email saying, yeah. Congratulations. Right. I've got, I've got both emails. You, yeah. know, you got your first, then you've got your second. Yeah. Right. Right. So, well, you know, we're good. And Steve's got waiting to get his. How about you, Scott? Have you got, you haven't gotten a shot yet, have you? One. You've I've had one. one. Okay. So, yeah. when's the next one? March 25th. March 25th. When did you get the first one? Just a week ago? Um, on the 4th. On the 4th. And uh, I guess you got the Moderna? Pfizer. Pfizer. Oh, okay. It should it should be three weeks with Pfizer. Well, maybe that is three weeks. I don't it know. It is three weeks. It is three weeks. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, Edward Berger, are you not old? A little behind. I'm going for my first one next month. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I hope they can do it properly and not laugh at your voice. I hope. <laughs> what, if, what if it changes the voice? You know. What are you here for? I'm here for my shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm still weeks but away. Is, is, isn't that them. nice? You know, we have some more people here. Oh, God. We get a lot of them. Here comes Len LaFrisco and Charlie Wallace and somebody who claims to be my wife. Uh, Marjorie Miller, boy, isn't that? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I was talking, we were talking about, you know, the fact that those of us who have been fully inoculated get to hang out with each other. After two weeks. You know what I was thinking of doing is having a, a vaccination party, inviting all the people we know that have had two shots. Plus two weeks. Yeah. And we'll have like a dinner and the whole thing. You know, what do you think, Jackie? You, you up for that? Sure. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Huh? I'm coming. You can come. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Steve. Absolutely. You've had two shots. But Andrew Deutsch. Now, Andrew, what's with you? You're not old enough. Is that what it is? Nope. Nope. Just a kid. How old, How old are you? Are you? How, 
How old are you? This this year I'll be fifty five, but I'm not there 55. yet. Five. Oh wow. He's a baby. Well, you look terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. It's like that Mel Brooks. You look like the piss boy. Oh yeah, you look like the bucket of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife. My wife's getting her shot uh, tomorrow, but I gotta wait. They haven't. They haven't called my age yet. You know. You know what I was thinking the other day though. Like, I guess your wife is sixty five and over. No, the in Ohio it's went down to sixty. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. So it went down to 60. Okay. Yeah. Now I was thinking about this the other day, but shouldn't people who have a family, who are married to somebody who maybe they can't get the shot, but the married yeah. person can either because they're a teacher or because they're old enough or whatever, shouldn't the other family member be able to get the shot as well? Because it, you know, they need protection as well. Yeah, well, you're right. My opinion with that is clear because like, for example, if your wife was an elementary school teacher, mm -hmm. so she gets the shot and she's around all those kids every day and then she comes home and you're not protected and you're younger. Yeah. So, so you should but, be, that should make you eligible. Say. Yeah, it does, I agree. It, it, unfortunately, it doesn't. And my wife's a professor, so she, she, she has days where she's in front of students. Well, you know something, I, I think that you'll find very shortly that they're probably going to lower the age down to right. into the 50s. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But First it's all, you'll have to get that inferior Johnson and Johnson, but what the hell? <laughs> What'd you say about my Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> you think there's a certain elitism a family among, show. among people who've gotten the Moderna or the Pfizer? Oh, you had the Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, but if the guys who get the Johnson, <laughs> yeah, I got a Johnson. <laughs> not one johnson two johnsons we'll be johnson we'll be johnson measuring against you guys i'll, I'll be the judge <laughs> <laughs> so i'm reading in the uh, online that um uh, uh prince charles yeah. is very upset well he stopped going talking to Henry, uh, well, he, only, he stopped taking his calls. Yeah, well, no, but here- Because it's not his son. <laughs> <laughs> so what? <laughs> God. Is this yeah, really- It's Frank Sinatra's. Yeah, right, Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Is this really a shocking, <laughs> is, this a, is this a shocking revelation to anybody that the British royal family are racist? I was shocked. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> well, he said, and he said this to Oprah after it was over, that- uh, the bad people in the scenario weren't the queen and the and prince philip it was charles yeah. it was charles it, it, well he didn't say who, who it was but i'll be charles no, no camilla camilla i thought they intonated it was the firm more than anything well yeah but the firm is who it's it's the queen it's it's the king it's a company alice it's, it's the people yeah. it's the people who tell them what to do and 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 are are, are <clears throat> kind of controlling uh, the customs that's, and all that that's stuff. That's right. They wouldn't uh, acknowledge the fact that she had mental issues and re she requested help. They said it wouldn't look good. Ooh, I wouldn't be according at all to her. The version, what the Queen sees is edited. That, I wouldn't be at all surprised about that. The way that Megan talked about that, it seems like the bubble is pretty thick. It's well, they they the seem to indicate uh, everybody that the Queen was fine. She really was, she was very uh, loving of the baby and uh, of, of uh, Megan and so on. And, and the inference is to me that the negativism came from William or, um, William or Charles, you know. Uh, and it could have come from Camilla, but I don't think she really has much power in this whole, whole thing, you know. Yeah, talk to her husband. <laughs> I'm wondering why we care. Why did, why did why what what did he see in Camilla? He wanted somebody as ugly as he is. <laughs> sometimes uh, beauty's in the have, eye of the beholder. Yes, and sometimes people have special skill sets, you know. <laughs> what I find? Did you watch the interview last night, Shecky? Absolutely not. Really? <laughs> we watched. Why it. would I watch a lie? Two liars in Oprah. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think they were lying. I don't think they were lying. Oh, they were lying. Really? Why do you say that? Yeah, why do you say that? It's just so obvious. He's a grifter. You have to gain by this. Hmm. He's walking away from an awful lot. How is he a grifter? He's walking away from 
right. billions of dollars. Billions of dollars, yeah. A lifetime no, they don't have to guarantee to billions for his children. And though. she's got free rent in Hollywood. She's got free yeah, everything yeah, but, in but, Hollywood. But if, if she, she wants a Hollywood career. If, if they had stayed with the royal family, they would have castles. Everything, everything <laughs> castles. Okay. Yeah. So she's giving up castles for a room at the Chateau Marmont. You know, I yeah. mean, I don't think so. I don't think now, so. Now the only crown she'll get from her dentist. <laughs> 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 or Burger King. How do you mute that guy? Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, you know, I thought it was. I thought it was really interesting that the number one thing on Harry's mind was security for his family. I, I, I thought that was fascinating to me from a perspective of somebody who does not think like normal people. The the idea that security being taken away was the most important thing well, in his he, whole world. He saw his mother die. He saw his mother die because of the media. Right, yeah. and the threats and hate For she sure. receives. Exactly. For and sure. then there's the British press with the blackness and the baby and- Vicious. Horrible, yeah. just horrible. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I just I just think that um, 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 if she were a grifter, Shecky, she had a much more to lose by him leaving, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> she wants a Hollywood career. She doesn't want to live in a castle in um, Scotland. I'm well, old. Well, I... made... Hey, Grace they... Kelly had a pretty good Hollywood career. Yeah. <laughs> and then she drove off a cliff. <laughs> oh, yeah, but that was like 20 years later, okay? You know. Um, but and Harry she had a... and Meghan have contracts with um, Netflix, I think. Yeah. Well, but everybody. And did. Oprah. And Oprah. Yeah. Do you know what what bothered me? What I you know last night she made a deal Oprah out of the fact that nobody was getting paid for this, okay, which is fine. I understand you, you want uh, you consider it news and you don't pay your sources. I understand that. However, Oprah turned around and it's charged. Solid. Yeah, CBS seven million dollars for that interview last night. Wow. Well, oh. She needs the money. Right. Yeah, she needs the money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> she needs the money. Did you watch it, Scott? No, I forgot it was on. No, oh, okay. Did you watch it, Jeff? No. Uh, Mike, you watched yeah. it, I assume. I watched the tail end of it. My wife watched the whole thing. I watched the last. Is there anybody here besides Marjorie and I who were suckers what? enough to watch that thing last night? You used to watch Cuomo every day at eleven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. That's true. Yeah, but Marjorie I... watched it for different reasons than Alex did. <laughs> and to be clear, he didn't try to kiss me, so I got nothing. To <laughs> well, I mean. Um... <laughs> we could say he fucked everybody in the state of New York, but. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it, it, uh, well, Cuomo thing, that thing. How many are following that? Can't really help it if you live here. Yeah. yeah. You, you hear you. Let, let the women I see say headlines. it under oath. What'd you say, Shaki? Let the women say it under oath, not allege. Well, let's see what the he investigation is. Farrow has been alleging for 30 years. Right. Uh, 30, yeah, 30. Right. But she's well, never had to testify under oath. No, she never took a lie detector test. He did. Right. Um, Marjorie's in a fighting match with her girlfriends over the Mia Farrow interview. They're siding with Mia. Oh, poor Mia. And I told her, just say, hey, you don't even, the other side isn't even being represented in that show. You know. A fighting match with this all the time. I taught a, taught a course in Woody Allen for seven years. And oh. the shit I get for my support of him, I know he didn't do this. He married Sun Yi. That's a little weird, but he married I'm her. And they have a happy marriage. Right. And he himself five and, years. He, and he himself says, if you want to judge me for that, judge me for that. I did it. But right. he did not molest Dylan Farrow. And I think she believes that she was molested. She's well, been I think that she was coached. I think yeah, that she was coached over time. She was brainwashed by Mia. Yes. The mother, yeah. the mother, the mother, Mia was did everything she could do to poison the minds of those kids. Oh, she's against, such a against cunt. Woody. <laughs> Absolutely. Marjorie, such language. Well, <laughs> if, you want, if you want to read great stuff and get the other side, which no one will publish, Robert Weedy, 
who is a director and writer on Curb Your Enthusiasm and made, has made film, he is a big advocate. And he's got all the transcripts and he puts up blogs on Twitter and stuff. He's really- Which side? Which side? He's pro Woody. 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 Totally pro Woody. Pro Woody. Totally pro Woody. And it's, it's great because he has all the facts and he links yeah. to all the Arrow stuff and he links to all the real stuff. Uh, he's a great- I, 30 years later coming back on HBO because their son has a contract there. Yeah, you're so Ronan's contract time. at, at, at uh, HBO and Ronan, uh, his father looks yeah. like Frank Sinatra. Yeah, Ronan Sinatra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Charlie Wallace, Charlie. Yeah, I really don't like Woody Allen. Okay. I cannot stand Woody Allen movies. I, I, you cannot at gunpoint get me to watch a Woody Allen movie, <laughs> but I do not believe he molested Dylan. Yeah, I mean, you don't. No one yeah. has to like his movies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I love his movies, but he's not a child molester. No, I agree. No, he's not. No one I, does it once when the paparazzi are surrounding their house and then never does it again. Well, I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid under those circumstances. And he's not stupid. He took a whole, the whole, the <laughs> whole uh, a brouhaha that was going on to right. go over there and say, come on upstairs, let me diddle you. Yeah. Come on. That just Nothing like a woman's scorn. All right. No, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know lie detector tests aren't one hundred percent accurate, but why won't not at all? Why won't Mia Farrow and, or Dylan take one? Well, you know, I'll tell you what bothers me, and it, it, it it's a thing that has bothered me for quite a while. It's bothered me for years. Is that if a guy is accused of something like this, it, it does he, it takes everything he has to be able to convince people that he didn't. Just the accusation, and I think that's grossly unfair. You know, men are, are are being. There are predators out there going after men now, mm -hmm. and in this case, I mean, to begin with, it happened 29 years ago, if it happened at all. And uh, you know, to defend yourself against something that happened that long ago, based just of purely on accusations, as you said, Shecky, no court, uh, no <clears throat> testifying under oath. You know, I don't think she's even, has Mia even been deposed in this case? I don't think so. No. I mean, in fact, just the opposite. I mean, everything was thrown out of courts and, you know, and they, they looked into it. They said there's no evidence that the tapes were coached and, you know, this and that. So, but as long as people think, oh, he married his daughter, you know, they're not, yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But, but the, he didn't marry his daughter. Of course he didn't. He married his girlfriend's adopted, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, Mia was going around <laughs> Uh, 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 collecting the jets and, and flotsam of the universe. Uh, the, she said, you took my, my I mean, daughter. I'm almost, she daughter. had so many kids that it became a mania, I think. With Two him. of them committed suicide. What? Two, Two of them committed suicide. Two of suicide. them, another yeah, one wow. died where they had her brothers in jail for child molestation, for pedophilia. Wow. wow. Her brother was a gym teacher who molested. You know, if you want to, if you want to adopt a kid, like that, you adopt one, two, you know, maybe, you know, but you don't go out and I, how many are there? A there, dozen. A dozen? Yeah, close to it. I think it's 12. I, I think sure. it's nine. Secondly, I it was nine. Who allows people to collect these many kids? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shecky has a point. Shecky, you said. I said she's a movie star. They can right. do whatever they want. Yeah. 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 Hasn't been much of a movie star since she broke up with Woody. That's true. No, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, no, I know. And I know. But, but she, she can financially afford that many kids. So what the heck is the problem? I don't yeah. know that she can financially afford them. I don't, I don't know that she's that wealthy. You know, I mean, come on. Did she make that much money off Peyton Place? Come on. And that was years ago. Yes, Mike. So uh, is, is this situation here... Would the modern day equivalent, because I mean, I'm, I know Woody Allen, I'm aware of him, I've seen a bunch of his movies, but mm -hmm. his impact hasn't hit me as much. Would this be similar to if Brad Pitt married one of Angelina's no. uh, adoptees? Would this be kind of the same sort of a, a sort of a situation? No, Brad Pitt's a huge I, mainstream Hollywood movie star. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a okay. minute, on top of that, on top wait, of that no. here's, Allen, here's how it wouldn't have been the same. Okay. Uh, Woody he Allen buy. entered into a relationship with Mia Farrow and she already had these some of these kids yeah. that she adopted. Okay. In the case of Brad Pitt, 
I think he and and uh, and 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 I believe Angelina, he co-parented. Angelina co-parented all yeah. the kids. Okay. Okay. So where Sun Yi was not his child, and he didn't even adopt her. But you know right. that he supposedly in all the books. Well, he it, kind he, of adopted her in a weird way. Yeah. He married her. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly, he never stayed overnight in Mia's apartment ever. They were opposite sides of the park, and he yeah. always went back to his place. Yeah, and I have known people who have relationships like right. that, but they and they had the kids. They I think kid. the photos were left there on purpose. And I don't think I think, think I think he knows that kid Ronan is not his. How could well, he not? Like if we know, not. yeah. Well, I mean, geez, look, believe your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. And everyone harps on the age thing. How old was Mia Farrow when she married Frank Sinatra? And how old was he? Ah, uh, yes. He was yeah. 19 and 50 something, right? How yeah. old was she, Shecky? Do you remember? 20. Yeah, 20? She was 1920. He was 52, 53, or something like that. Right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. What, uh, what's yeah. the difference? You know? And, uh, you know, Sinatra's marriage is like his marriage to Mia Farrow was not successful. His marriage to Sun Yi, very successful. Yeah. Yeah. It's been Two 20, kids, over 20 years. 20 years, yeah. Have they had kids together? He and they have two adopted, adopted kids. Two adopted Three. kids. Okay. And they're all in college, I think. They're in college. I mean, I think the only good thing that Mia did for Woody is he was a guy who just never wanted kids. And after that, incident he adopted some with Sun Yi you know I mean so obviously he kind of liked the idea of parenting yeah and you would think that the people that you know he's like, obviously he's a star but do you would you let him adopt kids if you believed he was a child molester no in fact no. Uh, didn't she somehow go to court and t and 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 speak on his behalf that he's a great father and blah 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 you know it's not case she's, she's she's nutty she's crazy she's out of her mind Seems that way. Yeah, she's a pharaoh. What, <laughs> tell us about her father, Rick. Uh, alcoholic, good director. Yeah. 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 And her mother, good, good looking actor. woman. Movie good. star. She looked Big great. And, you know what? Tarzan she, and his mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she was Tarzan's uh, mate. She was uh, Jane. Yeah, Jane. Naked in that movie. Huh? She's naked in Tarzan and his mate. Yes, absolutely. In fact, Tarzan and his mate. Tell us about it, Rick. It I think it's one of the sexiest films ever oh, made. Oh, it's a very good film, and it right was on the cusp of the um, production code, which is one of the reasons there what became a production code. That was one of the films. There's one scene where she goes to jump into the water, and just before she jumps in the water, he pulls on her dress, and yeah. she goes into the water. She's naked. Yep. And then he's on top of her. And he's, you know, it, 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 it was, there was more sex in that film than I've seen in any of those films back then. You know. What year are we talking? 34. Yeah. yeah. Early 30s. Yeah. That, this was a, what, the second Tarzan picture with Weissmuller? Yeah. Yeah. Was she in and the you first? you know, the first one is now part of that TCM bullshit of, you know, movies that are being censored or whatever that crap is they're doing. Why? Canceled. Castle. You know, they, it's funny. They, they, I sent you that list. You saw it, didn't you? Yeah, TCM is running, uh, I think, one day a week. Problematic movie, films. Or problematic they call films. It. And so then I go online and they're there, but only two of them do. They do a, a, a prequel to where they talk about it and why. The rest, you don't know why. I mean, they made a big deal with Gone with the Wind, right? Well, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psycho's on the list. It's offensive to cross dressers or something. What was it? Psycho? <laughs> oh, because of cross dressing? Psycho's Oh, brother. It's oh. out of control, huh? It's out of control. Hey, everybody. I saw it growing up with Looney Tunes, man. I was part of the generation where Looney Tunes were proper one week and the next week they were censored. Well, this week it's Pepe Le Pew again, you know. Yeah, well, really, yeah, well, he was a raping skunk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cartoon. <laughs> Well, I watched, I'll tell you, I was watching um, uh, a bunch of uh, Looney Tunes today on HBO Max, and I was watching the, um, the especially the ones with uh, Donald, with uh, Bugs Daffy. Bunny and Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd in the hunting stuff. And I got to tell you, Tyler, I, they wouldn't let those happen today. They wouldn't, just wouldn't. Well, it's not duck season. 
<laughs> it's rabbit <laughs> season. season. Oh, Duck season. Let me just say this to you, Andrew. You're despicable. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out when Woody Allen molested Bob Dylan from that last conversation. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you guys hear that Pepe Le Pew is being uh, cancel cultured? Oh, yeah. He's kind of a stinker. From, uh, <laughs> from the Space Jam movie. He was pulled out of that a year ago. He was not, it, that's not something that happened. What, what happened? Week. I never watched Space Jam. Me, I, me neither. He was edited out of the movie, which hasn't been released yet. Oh, 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 you mean the new Space Jam movie? Space Jam 2, 3, 5. Okay, so he's edited know. out because he's doing his Pepe Le Pew thing, right? No, I think they just felt, again, I haven't seen it. I won't see it. It slowed the movie down or something. So it wasn't something that last week Warner Brothers said, let's cut him out because, you know, he stinks. But don't, well, you, he does. Think a, don't you think it's a good thing they made a second one? I mean, there were so many vital questions unanswered in the first. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You saw LeBron James says, I'm not getting the vaccine. Okay. Good really? Reason. Yeah. Really? A dumbass. <laughs> you know, Did he really? Didn't he arrange for the whole arena to be a vaccine Jesus site? Christ. I yeah. thought so. Yeah. Oh, but he ain't getting online. Yeah. I wonder why. Alex, I sorry I got to interrupt, but I got to go to work and do some oh. work. So. Oh, okay, Lynn. You haven't said anything. So is there anything I, you want to say before you go? Uh, Monday. Uh, happy Monday. Okay. <laughs> happy Monday. I know that, I know that you've, been work, you've gotten work lately. I know. Why, why did I do that to myself? Well, I uh, what I wanted to ask is, what does it feel like? Um, it, it's like, it feels really good when you stop, is what it is. <laughs> oh, I, I see. So, Make it horrible. Well, join us for as much as you can every Monday. I, I, will. You know. I will. I love you guys. All right. See you, Bye-bye. 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 See you, Lynn. Go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, don't call it Frisco. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just, I, the whole cancel culture thing, I hate, to begin with, I hate the term cancel culture. It's just so overused and sometimes inappropriately used. Uh, and, uh, but I just, you know, every, everything's got to be taken into context. They, they were talking on Gone with the Wind. Uh, the, the, one of the great advantages of Gone with the Wind is there would be no TCM if it weren't for Gone with the Wind. <laughs> because the reason that Ted Turner bought the MGM library is so he could own Gone with the Wind. <laughs> oh. You know, so he's, a, he's a Southerner. That re, you know, he's from Atlanta. It, it registered with him. And uh, uh, they were just saying that, yeah. you know, the films have to be taken in their context of when they were made and excused for that, mm-hmm. you know, and learn something from watching them, you know? Uh, <laughs> I mean, Butterfly <laughs> McQueen, for instance, they complain about, supposedly what, Malcolm X, according to TCM, uh, whoever was there, um, Malcolm X uh, saw Gone with the Wind and said he wanted to climb under the rug when he saw Butterfly McQueen doing what she was doing in the film you know i don't know nothing about birth and babies miss scarlet so anyway uh and i thought that isn't understanding what's going on number one butterfly mcqueen was a great comic actress correct me if i'm wrong rick because you're the expert no but again it's because of her the way she spoke but she why, was. i don't know nothing about birth and baby what if she sounded like vivian lee but I yeah. do not know anything about birthing babies. Yeah, but no, the thing is that she was in this film, which is a very serious comic relief. Comic relief. Yeah. Okay. And she was very good at it. And in later years, she, you know, she fought for causes and so on and so forth. But the, the point is that, that uh, you know, when you get upset by something like that, when it's in a movie, in those movies, Black people were always the com- comic relief whether it was Willie Best or Mantan Moreland or uh, Charlie Wallace. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean... Yeah, well, when, when you come to the point that you allow the one guy who's offended to define what's offensive, this is what we get. Yeah. <laughs> and do you notice the guy that always says what is offensive is not a guy who's affected by that particular action? In other words, it's a white guy who says that's offensive to oh. black people. 
Those are called social justice warriors, and I think they're a big part of the problem as well. Yeah. Yeah. But somehow, and they, and they somehow have the, the dialogue have platforms on okay. social media. They, you know, they've got their soapbox on social media mm -hmm. to cancel anything without context, as you say. Yeah. I mean, we did. There were shameful things done in the past, but to just erase them. They're historical. Like I just recently watched The Jazz Singer. I had never seen it. I was shocked that I had never seen it. And of course it's canceled because he's in blackface, but I was shocked by when he's in blackface is the moment his mother comes in and he realizes his otherness as a Jew. And it's the only time he feels close to his mother. It's a very touching moment. Well, I mean, but we've never, it, nobody, everybody looks at blackface and they look at it myopically. Oh, it's terrible. A guy put black stuff on his face to make himself look black actually that was a tradition that went back years called minstrelism you know and he was simply doing that he didn't think there was anything wrong with it it wasn't any hatred against blacks charlie is a black person does blackface offend you if it's just for the purpose of entertainment like it was with jolson back then i mean nobody does blackface no, I've, I've never been offended by al jolson you were offended by Val Jolson? No, I've never been. Never been. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't do it now, as you say, right? No, it's just... I was offended by him because he was an asshole. But... <laughs> but how, how could we have honest discussions about history if we don't want to remember what it was and talk about it in context and have that conversation? Yeah. And, and let art be itself. You know, the, the art that existed years ago, I'm sure we could find something wrong with almost everything solution to hate speech is more speech not less well don't you know don't deny your cultural heritage and the history of your culture by by trying to make it disappear you know yes mike my wife and i have a tradition every year to watch her favorite movie at christmas time her favorite movie is breakfast at tiffany's okay mm -hmm. now there isn't a time oh, where oh, we, oh, oh, there isn't oh, a time yeah. where we have a even found, yeah but i even found that <laughs> offensive but I, no, I know, but what I'm saying is, is there's never been a time from the first time we've watched it, which was like 12, 13 years ago, um, where it didn't at least make us cringe when we saw Mickey. Like, yeah. and, and that's where the culture corrects itself. It's like, okay, let us cringe. The cringe is what makes it so fucking filmmakers you, you know, won't do that in the future. I don't like, remember the, cringe, the yeah. good thing. I don't remember the film that well. But isn't huh. it because Mickey Rooney plays huh. the part? But Mr. Like Hashimoto or whatever his name is. Yeah. yeah. Is, oh, yeah. And he goes and he swings for the fences. He chews up the scenery, yeah, scenery with that accent. And, yeah. and all oh, that. and the buck teeth and everything. But my question is, if I remember the film correctly, could you have excised that character from the film and still had a good film? Mm. Well, is he mean, that he's, important he's, to the he's plot? Pretty, it's pretty there's important. some exposition there and then and then. I mean, yeah, I mean, he let No, but pa apparently Lynn. Blake Edwards overplayed it and told Rooney to play it that way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it was done. For, it was done. Over the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but today, I'm sure you can. For sure. Today, I'm sure you could find a Japanese actor who was good at com comedy. Yeah, but Blake Edwards didn't want that. Yeah. But my point is the cringe is what makes us want to be better in the future. Like, it's like, can you believe that back then they, uh, you know, movie going audiences could have been fooled by something like that to the point where they're not taken completely out of the moment and cringe? Like, that's the whole point of it. Like, well, I mean, if you go back, if, you, thing. If, if we don't have the cringe, then we repeat that shit. It's just like go, the less we forget kind of a you, thing, right? You want to remember that. Yeah. If you go back to the 50s when I was raised, um, for the most part, um, I lived in a pretty white world. You know, I turned on my television set and there were nothing but white people there. And I went to the movies and there were nothing but white people in them unless it was some, some, some subservient character who's doing comedy relief like Mantan Moreland um, or Willie Bess. So, uh, you know, I mean, I, we could just cringe at that. Look at any movie from the 50s and see how many uh, representative faces there are in those films and the answer will be zero. I mean, yeah, it gets to a point where nothing is so pure that you can't cancel it if you look closely, right? What's right. going to be the last thing standing? Exactly. Why don't they cancel the Bible? Bible hates gay people. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to cancel yeah. Dick Van Dyke for that accent in Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andrew, it's coming. Somebody's going to get offended by that. It's coming. Well, the appropriation thing, police are going to come and they're going to arrest 
the you know absolutely that's gonna happen do you think we're gonna get over this i mean i, do you think, we're gonna I get... think so i think the pendulum's gonna swing the other way it has to yeah. it has to when i was growing up free speech was under attack by the right it was the they were attacking rap music they were attacking movies and all that Different now order. it's the left that's attacking free speech because the pendulum swung mm-hmm. the other way did you know you know what's interesting i watched the second uh, the coming to america movies this weekend the yeah. new eddie murphy movie and and they get away with everything that if had it not been a black film would have been would have been canceled. And then you go back and it's great. It's 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 not a great movie, but there's a lot of really funny uh, uh, Easter eggs and things in it. Then you go back. My wife had never seen the first one, and we watched it. And there's a scene where the guys had the you know the wet hair, uh, the Afro sheen stuff, and they leave the big stain on the couch. And I was thinking to myself, if they did that now, somebody would want to cancel that film because it's it's offensive, <laughs> but it's so damn funny. Yeah. That, you know, you know why don't why don't people care about John Turturro always playing sniveling Jews? Yeah, as a Jew, I don't really like it, but it feels so fine. You know, what am I going to either don't watch it, watch it, or you know, but it doesn't. You're allowed to be offended. It doesn't send you to the hospital. Come to think of it, does John Turturro ever play an Italian? Rarely, he has. <laughs> Rarely. <laughs> Are we only going to make as, movies that make us happy? No, no other feelings allowed. Well, I mean. Uh, what what's happening here is that people are afraid to make films. I mean, I'm sure there are films being turned down every day now at all the studios, including the Netflix and the Amazons. They go, ah, this is a little too. This is little, we're get, we get in some kind of trouble with this. Yeah, or the script gets changed until everything's so goddamn bland. Well, and I'm sure Shaggy can add into what I'm about to say. But back when I was growing up, I was on the cusp of the end of what we called the dialect comics. These were comics who worked vaudeville and, and then went to movies and who did, uh, did dialects. Uh, and I don't think today that would even be tolerated. Do you, Shecky? I mean, I think of some of those really funny acts that they had in vaudeville. Oh. That people when did they go, when they did they go after Chico Marx? Right, I was just going to say Chico Marx, but no one, no one complains about that, do they? Well, they will. <laughs> don't, don't bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring it up. <laughs> Last year, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Jr. was on playing a fo- in an Italian. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, but I'll tell you what they'll also complain about is that accent that Harpo was using. <laughs> so you know, honk honk. Yeah. Uh, wh- so la- last year, Robert Downey Jr. was on Joe Rogan. And one of the first questions Rogan asked him, he said, hey, could you make Tropic Thunder today? No way. And 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 at that point, Downey was like, and I mean, this is Downey who's now kind of all powerful, but he said, you could. And he just, he kind of, he kind of kind of justified a way that it could be done a year later. And it's like, no, no friggin' way. No, no, I, no I, way think, be- I think when it was done, it was, it was, you Not weren't supposed to do blackface. But the fact that the guy in the movie does it because he's a method actor, <laughs> you know, it makes Very it funny, funny and gives it a reason, Very you funny. know, and gives it social commentary when he's doing it. I so, think it was one of the best devices ever done. And like, it was so, I clever. think it was a very brave device, but, but could it be done now? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If I don't know. We're that yeah. far away from it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that it's excused in the movie because this guy is like a method actor and he went out and had his skin pigmentation changed <laughs> so he could play the role. Oh, explain that to some snowflake in college. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but now, now there, the controversy is if it's a gay role, it has to be given to a gay person. If it's an Asian role, you have to give it to an Asian person rather than what, what is acting. Acting is being someone you're not. Yeah, right, and not anymore, not anymore. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And every film now has to have an Asian character, a black character, yeah, a, trans, that's from. a trans character. The 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 very uh, histrionic gay guys got to be in the film, and there's got to be two lesbians. Oh, well, what's going on on television? I mean, Shecky can also uh, join in on this one because it's true. Oh, wait a minute, Brian, you're that woman, Catwoman, uh, that. That woman. Wait a minute, I uh, uh, Brian Neary. Did I, uh, Brian? Did He's you not know? here yet. Oh no, he called, and I just tried to click on him, and he disappeared. So, Brian, if you're listening, please call back. I'm sorry I didn't see you because I was busy looking at the main screen here. Uh, so call back, Brian. Um, uh, Batwoman. 
is so gay that I'm I'm thinking of arguing for the use of straight characters on that show. I mean, it's it's just like it's it's all girl on girl action. Please. Oh, I've got to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm telling you. Uh, I mean, well, the Batwoman who's no longer on the show um, was gay. That was her main character. Was that she was gay, yeah. and uh, she had you know romance problems and so on and so forth uh but i mean oh here's yeah my... but the current bad woman is gay too yeah by the way i haven't gonna in the comic books as well by the way huh in the co the current uh that woman in the comic books also is yeah uh hello brian i'm sorry i didn't get to you fast enough but i i then did something which made your name disappear and i couldn't see you but welcome welcome brian i gave you two chances Okay, good. Good. How no, nice I am. <laughs> Happy to be home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, it may be true that that's the way it is in the comic book, but I'm just saying the whole show is just terribly gay. Um, so far, the new Superman show isn't, though. So, you know. Um, Balance. I mean, I bet, hey, listen, I think everything should be represented today in a plot, in a plot line, but I don't think you have to go overboard in any direction, you know, yes. you want to balance it all out. And I think that sometimes they're not balancing it out. Yes, Jeffrey. I think it's being unbalanced on purpose. <laughs> and, and you know what? So what? Well, look, yeah. I'm not, hey, I'm not going to argue two women kissing each other, okay? In fact, I'd like to see a little more. Yeah, you know, and but, change the channel if you're offended. Yeah, or don't I mean, I'm not offended by it, but for. I'm just saying that I, after I get through with an hour of it, I'm going, wasn't that a little much? Wasn't there a little too much of that? You know. Yeah, it's it's heavy-handed, and and when it, I like the idea that everybody is going to have some representation somewhere. In the entertainment world, and that's a great thing. But you don't have to get heavy-handed with it and make it agenda-based. Well, I believe the executive producer of the show is gay, isn't he, Rick? Yes. So, uh, I, I think that he's rooting for his side. You know, in most of his shows, and he has almost every show on television. So, you know, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Berlanti. Br Greg Berlanti. Berlanti. Yeah. Um, he I, he has. I think at one time I figured what we had 16 shows on the air at one time. Could be. Close to that. I believe it. And then I found a couple on like Netflix and so on that he was producing too. Marjorie was watching one of them. Which one? Uh, I, I, I don't I can't remember what it was, but you were watching it and I pointed out to you that that was produced by the guy who produces uh, Batwoman and Supergirl mm. and The Flash and Arrow. And should we keep going? Uh, <laughs> On and on and on. He he was responsible for over fifty percent of all the hours on the CW. That's a lot of you know. Yeah. That's a lot of shows. But uh, anyway, so uh, hello Brian, how are you? Good. Good. Earlier, we were, earlier yeah, there. we were talking about uh, the uh, Megan <clears throat> and uh, Hen uh, and uh, uh, Harry. 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 Why did I say Henry? Harry oh. interview last night. You didn't see it, did you? No. Boy, I'm wondering if she got any ratings out of that thing. <laughs> Nobody here saw that show no. last night except for Marjorie and I. It was like the highest rated thing on television. And then she says, I, I would have not ask any female. <laughs> no, but it was typical of Marjorie, though. She says, you, we got to watch this. We got to watch this. I said, it's two hours long. She says, we got to watch it. We got to watch it. So I put it on. And I, and I look over at her, and she's asleep. Asleep. You were asleep. I watched the whole time. And then you said, "Can you go back? I didn't hear that." Yeah, I was. I have a. I have a video of Adrian. So we were watching something for her, you know. And I was sort of just on my phone watching something for her, and she's on the the table right in front of the TV, and so she's like this. And I looked at her for a little bit and I said, she's not moving. <laughs> off, I walk around and she's passed out while she still has her TV cartoons. And you're being forced to watch it. 
<laughs> yeah, and then and then I videoed her and put it on Facebook, so I felt better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See, I, I, I've told the kids where all the videos are on my computer, so either they're gonna hate me or love me. If I if I make it to their weddings, they're gonna hate me for sure because I have a lot of good videos. Yeah, you, great black well, you know it's incredible. Exactly. I, I think about I, I go back, I look at my history, and me I have one or two pictures of me as a baby. Do you, how about you, oh. Jackie? Any pictures of you as a baby? Yeah, a few. How, ma how many? A few. I remember, you used to have to spend real money to take a picture yeah, of those days. But a few pictures. Marjorie, a few pictures, right? A lot. A Charlie, lot. maybe more pictures than Marjorie and I had, but you still a few pictures, right? I had a lot. Uh, but you get some, You today you have a kid, you're shooting pictures. Of, I, I have a friend who, who shot 10,000 pictures of her fucking cat. You know? I mean... My granddaughter's two and a half. I have well over a thousand pictures of her. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But you never had... They're never, you can't find that many pictures of yourself when you were a kid, when you were no. a baby. No, my mom took pictures. So it's sort of weird. So my mom took a lot of pictures. And she passed away when I was very young. So actually, it was really cool. I was 13. So uh, not that she passed away, but that I had these pictures of my life. Because after that traumatic event, I really lost a lot of my memory from my childhood. So sure. it's pretty cool to have those. But yeah, nowadays, you see video and stuff of somebody who's, you know, who's a 25-year-old person, you know, in, in baseball or something. And they're showing back, you know, some other video. And it looks like it's like from last month. It's so good, you know? Yeah. Well, well, what's interesting is when I was a kid, I don't, I don't know if my parents owned a camera. Mm. Uh, you know, I mean, most parents didn't own a camera, or if they did, it was one of these box brownies. Oh yeah. You know? mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. And um, it, it cost a lot of money to develop the films and to make prints out of them. And then when you had the prints, they didn't last forever. They started turning brown and so on because they weren't processed correctly. So you know, I mean. For people of, of our age, our age, I'm 81. Marjorie is uh, that's enough. Marjorie's that's <laughs> enough. Marjorie's third younger than you are. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Younger. It's International Women's Day. You better be nice to her. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Power to the <laughs> pussy. Okay. Um, my my <laughs> my. Uh, you know, it's just interesting that we we didn't have that we don't have that same history afforded right. us that the kids today will, uh, or be embarrassed by their mother showing somebody an endless picture of a kid lying on a bassinet with his butt showing, you know. <laughs> um, but do you, re do you regret it? Do you regret not having pictures? Uh, you know what I regret not having pictures of? I they they took pictures of me when I was a baby, okay. Uh, when I was first born, was, I have a picture of me being held by somebody. Um, but uh, then you get to another one and I've got like some overalls on. It's a little baby kid walking around, you know, toddler. And then that's it. You know, nothing in between. None of the stuff of growing up like four, five, six. No you know, graduation, I mean, I, no graduation bar mitzvah. You know. <laughs> I don't think I have any graduation meetings, but I do have pictures of, uh, of myself living in Marin County when I first married my first, my second wife, Ronnie. Uh, I have those pictures. Those pictures I, I have access to, but there seems to be like a gap photographically mm -hmm. in my life. And I think probably you could say the same thing, Marjorie. We have pictures up here, Marjorie. We have you as a baby, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll get them and embarrass you. Hold on. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Is she naked? Is she naked? <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone else here seen that? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's Alex with a toupee on. That, that'll get even, Marjorie. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> you're going you're to show some of those. Uh, there's a lot of that stuff. Okay, here we go. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, oh, oh she is so cute. Let me see if I can get that so that it's in there. There we go. And there she goes, a little baby Marjorie. But that you, was me. But you see, the next picture of you probably isn't. Do you have any pictures that are a little bit after this? Oh, I have pictures in grade school, junior high school. Yes, but no, no, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you were like four or five. Yeah. Three. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
is I don't have any pictures like that. Uh, I, the next time I have pictures of me, maybe when I was in my teens. Oh, look who's calling it the last 10 minutes of the show. <laughs> Folks, uh, it's my old the producer for the radio. <laughs> there he is, Albert, Albert Reynoso. Alberto. Hello, Albert. How are Hello. you? I'm good. How is everybody there? Yeah, everybody's fine. Sorry, I'm just tagging on to the end of the meeting, but it's no, better no. than nothing, I guess. No, that's it's. No, we love seeing you. You know. Absolutely. We miss I'm you. Have you, gotten a shot? Have you gotten? A, you haven't gotten a shot yet. You couldn't get one. Yet. Me? No, I'm a young kid. Yes. Yeah. They won't give it to me now. Yeah, well, because you know, if you've had two shots, you now can plus hang around with everybody else who's had two shots. Plus two weeks, Alex. I have two shots every night at least. Yeah, but two shots. No, but I mean, it, it was uh, it's uh, pretty, you know, uh, if you've had two shots and you're two weeks, two two weeks. weeks have to pass. Uh, you you can hang out with other two shot people. You're good to go. I, I can hang another couple of days. I could hang out with Shecky. That's yeah. right. Haven't seen the guy in a year, although I've seen him here. I kind of feel like I've been seeing him, but you know. And actually, I, it's not much different than when I go over to his place. He goes and lies in that same bed, and <laughs> I sit the chair next to him. And so, you know, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah, sounds. Uh, but but it it would just be nice that we can go do what we used to do, like go get ribs somewhere, or do something like that. You know, it'll happen. We had a great sushi place out there. What was that? Minato's or Minaro's or Minato? Minato. And it, it this, I can't I can't tell you how good it was. They had this huge all you can eat sushi bar, but they also had teriyaki and everything, and you just could. Eat I went with you guys a couple of times there. It was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. It closed. I think, I think all the all you can eat bars are probably a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that's why it closed, Rick? Is there any word why they closed? Well, they closed a year ago, March. So they closed right at the beginning. So I think they were planning to close. They were planning to close because they were always packed when we go in there. We don't know what their rent was. Hmm. But it was out in where? That's not a high rent area, is it? It's like one of those little mini malls. Uh, yeah, but you're in Carl Place, Westbury. Yeah. I, I always go into Great Morning when a place I like eating at. It was almost a social thing for us. We went out of there more out of the socialness of you and I going to this place than actually, you know. And they had free refills. They had free refills, <laughs> right. Of what, soda? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, for like, I think it was 18 bucks. It was all you could eat. For lunch, about 18. If you went for like Saturday dinner, I think it was like 30. 30, but they had- but, That's when they would drag out the lobster and you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was great, but you know, nothing lasts forever these days. And anybody here lo lose something you like going to that is closed down because of uh, yeah. you, Brian? What, what was it? Uh, well, yeah, one place was a, a Mongolian beef, sort of, where you can go pick all your own stuff, and then you have a you have the grill on your plate, you know, at your table, and you mm. do your own stuff. So they used to have different spiced stuff. Oh, it was really good. That one at Fish Market. I don't know if Fish Market's coming back. So they have the Fish Markets around here, mm -hmm. and they have one there. Used to get the big crab louis salad, and they haven't been doing any delivery or takeout food during this time. So. I'm thinking maybe it's just because they're so their fish is so fresh and but they haven't really shown that they're reopening. So well, we have a great fish place down the street that uh, stayed open during the whole thing, but only has allowed so many people in at a time. Mm. And I went down yesterday. We got uh, we got uh, shrimp for dinner, you know, and then uh, tonight I but we're having some tuna that I bought. Um, so I always know. want to go to the Bronx and see the fish market. They have a Bronx fish market? Yeah, it used to be in the, in the village. Yes, um, yes. And it moved to the Bronx now. It was in the village? Where was it? Yeah, Just outside. Street yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. I haven't been down to Chinatown. The, the Fulton Fish Market, you're thinking? Yeah, right. Fish Market, exactly. Yeah, it moved. So they moved up to, up to the Bronx? It's like in Hunts Point, Brook, Bronx yeah. now. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. I wonder what Chinatown's like with all the fish mongers on the streets and stuff. I, can I 
A lot of them are. are well, I mean, what? it may have had to close down, which made yeah. the turtles go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I went in. I, I used to go to a, a Spanish restaurant in the village. And I love that place. And you you could actually you can actually go into uh, in Flushing or Flushing as we sometimes call it because it's all Chinese. Flushing. You're going to be canceled, Alex. You're going to watch yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, but it was um, uh, they had this market, a Chinese market, and they were selling huge turtles, which you then take home. And I don't know how you kill a turtle. <laughs> You know, mm. and then you would, kill, you would kill the turtle and you would have it. I, I don't know how you serve it or how you make it. Turtles, too. You'd have it. <laughs> well, I was, a turtle. I'll tell you, I would never get one. I mean, I would, that would be terrible. <laughs> Could you kill a turtle? Rick, you bring lobsters home and you kill them, right? Yes. Could you bring a turtle home and kill one of those big turtles? Only because I don't want to eat a turtle but if i did okay well, you're eating tuna i gotta tell you i mean i talked to, to him that what were you gonna say what were you saying i Rick? said you you know you're eating tuna but he's not killing it but i'm not killing it oh so you oh, let I someone else do the dirty work that's correct yeah. someone else has to do the dirty yeah, work i mean want. if they if they gave me said okay you want some turtle here's some turtle and it was all chopped up and it was all packed away i maybe i could then eat it but you know um i want to eat the steak i w don't want to know how it was killed yeah, got there okay you know i want to know the name of the cow i don't want to know <laughs> Well, there was a Western I saw once called the Culpepper Cattle Company, and somebody, yeah, there we go, look in the back of, of Andrew. Um, uh, they, did this, they did this film uh, called the Culpepper Cattle Company, in which a guy said, uh, what's the name of your horse? A kid says, what's the name of your horse? And the uh, cowboy says, kid, you never name something you might have to eat someday. <laughs> My grandfather, when he was in Italy, the same thing. He used to tell me he used to be so friendly with the pigs, and then the pigs started like disappearing on them. <laughs> yes, exactly. They had a lot of ham and bacon, I guess. Yeah, so. you, don't, yes. you don't give them a name. I'm sorry. Arabs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so, what, does everybody think everything's getting a little better with the COVID thing? Do you think it's starting to lighten up a tad? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I, just, I just hope we don't loosen up too fast. Yeah, I think it's for a lot of people. It's just that you you're potentially feeling better. Yeah, well, I feel safer. How about you? You, you are, but you you're not there. You still got another couple of weeks. Albert, how's it going down there? One more week. Yeah, it's the same. We've been open for months now. So what's the big deal? Here in Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you've also been diseased forever. <laughs> Some of us. Yeah. <laughs> Well, somebody in your household, and you still won't say who got it, came down with COVID, right? Right. But nobody else in the household got it? No. Very good. Yeah. Very and good. it's after a, after about a, uh, over maybe two months of testing. So wow. I, I don't know how that works, but good thing. Well, you should be, if, if, yeah. And that person resolved okay? and Yeah. Just, a, just a maybe a two days of flu, and that was it. Okay. Oh, wow. And, and a whole bunch of antibodies. I guess they don't know. They really don't. Know. They know so little about this. But you know, look who's visiting. What? Adrian. Oh, oh, oh. Adrian. Oh, it's Adrian. Here she is. Adrian. Come on, Adrian. You want to be on? You want to say hello? <laughs> hey, say hello. Come on. Hi. Adrian. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. She's in class. She needs a stapler. Hey, go. <laughs> learn. Hurry up and learn. Okay. <laughs> she is adorable. You are she so is. you are so fortunate. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm I, I'm glad the you know shots and everything for everybody, but for me to get her out and about and stuff. I mean, there's so many things, so many classes and stuff like that. I've wanted to get her back into. Where she was right. doing piano, she was doing soccer, she was doing basketball. Wow. So I'm really, really excited to get those things back. So. And Albert, it's great seeing you again. You and I have to get together and maybe do a little uh, video for the sh the nighttime show. You and I together. Whatever you like. 
Um, One I'll day be... I'm going to come and visit you guys again. Yes. Oh, the door is here. Oh, maybe. The well, the Thanksgiving. Door is I appreciate Thanksgiving. that, but the, the door is not open until I get my test, until I get We're... my virus. Yeah. We're all going Thanksgiving. He invited right? everybody. Yes. Yeah. He thinks we're joking. No, well, <laughs> if, that's, if that's the case, I'll be there. You know, we'll really. all show up. Come on. Yeah. I know how to get there. <laughs> she has not been able to do a massive Thanksgiving dinner in years, I think. No, just one. Well, no, we've done like three, four people, and that's it. You know, it's usually Shecky, and it's usually somebody else. And then, you know. Well, we had the year when, um, Right before Jack passed, yeah, that was, that yeah. was a big table. Yeah. Anything Marjorie cooks is is a feast. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. But you know, it will, it will, it will, it will celebrate Thanksgiving this year and be, give thanks. Steve, you're invited. We'll do a Zoom Thanksgiving. Jeff, you're invited. You know, all the people are nearby, especially, and of course, Albert's always invited. Always, his room is. I love Ellen. Yeah. So uh, anyway, you know. It's uh, but it's good to see you again. I'll get I'll write you, Albert, and we'll we'll set up a time. Okay, anytime. We'll do a little thing. Uh, I just want to thank you all. I love this Monday get together. It's so civil and so much fun, and uh, it's just a nice discussion about, amongst a bunch of nice people. Jeffrey, thank you, Edward. You haven't said anything, Edward. Say Don't worry. Yeah. Have my have my associate here. How <laughs> <laughs> was that? It's me. Edwards. Is that you? Yeah. yeah. Boy, they made a doll of you? <laughs> yeah, it's just one. Yeah, not... It is only one, and then they threw away the mold. That's I... right. No, but is there a string you can pull when it talks? I'll try and put it in. <laughs> that would be <laughs> ideal. Yeah. Practice you, got that, you got that great cartoon voice. Yeah. That's right. Uh, uh, Scott Boddicker, good to see you, Scott. He, he's there in Plano, Texas, home of Snapple. Uh, Andrew Deutsch, th thank you. Scott Bender, thank you. Rick Shepman, as always, Rick, you know, I'll call you in a second. Uh, Marjorie uh, Miller, is it? Miler? Miller? <laughs> Milner? 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 Marjorie like Miller? Miller. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Margie. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and uh, Charlie Wallace. Trucker Steve, who's not in his truck, he's home. His dog Rocky is not paying attention to him. Uh, and uh, Brian Neary, uh, Mike Chisholm, and uh, the lovely and attractive Albert Reynoso. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and we'll give a big wave goodbye to you. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks Bye. for joining Bye. us. Bye-bye.